Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Larcy. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another fun vacation photo rescue for you this week, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, Ron actually sent this image in and asked me to do a vacation photo rescue with it, but he also sent his own version that I didn't look at initially. So I went ahead and decided I would take his image, work on it, and then compare it to his and see how they come out. I guess if his comes out better, you'll probably never see this video. But it should be an interesting one to try out if you don't already have Luminar Neo, which is what we're going to be using. There is a link down below where you can check it out. But without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, here we are in Neo with our El Capitan image. And um, before I get running on something like this, first thing I'm going to usually do is try and go through and decide what things need to be, you know, repaired, and then what things do I want to enhance. Um, looks like we had a little bit of a flare coming in from the side, maybe a little lens flare. Uh, it's caused us to lose a little saturation in here. Let me zoom in a tiny bit. Um, looks like it's a little soft in here as well. Uh, probably something we would want to work on. Uh, definitely try and bump up that contrast a little bit without blocking this up too much. And I think we probably stand to put a little sky in behind it. Um, so over here we've got our image with areas to put layers up above. Our tools here, edits that we've done, which is nothing, and then the presets. And when I don't have a solid direction on something like this where I want to go, a lot of times I'll just start with one of these like the easy landscapes and just take a look at some of these kind of see what they do there's the black and white route which would be kind of cool um, problem with black and white route to me is there's so much trees in the image that I think they don't look as good if it was more about the rock and sky I think I'd be more inclined to go black and white Okay, so I'm not crazy about any of those. So let's go back to the original. And let's just kind of go through some of our, our tools. Let's work on the sky first, because I think that is something we're going to want to work with. Now, i got to keep in mind, i got a light coming from here, so um, I don't want clouds that have a light coming from the other side. Um, you know, we've got a lot of warmth in here, too, and these really cool this really cool sky doesn't look as realistic in my opinion, we'd have to go ahead and make some adjustments to that. But again, the lighting on these clouds does not really work with the lighting on the mountain. I almost wonder if we want something like one of these that's just a more subtle sky. That kind of works. I don't think we want one of these. Hmm. Problem is, you can see that the sun is back behind there, which won't work as well. Um, this one kind of works, but I find it's kind of distracting. I think those are just a little too dramatic. I'm going to go with uh, maybe that, just to give us something in the sky um, that's not necessarily going to compete with what we have. I think that'll work nicely. So, um, go with that one. can always try flipping it. I like the extra weight on that side. Um, let's play around with the relighting. Let it kind of adjust that scene. See if we can get them to blend together a little bit. Might even come through and uh, just warm up that sky a tiny bit. And now, since a lot of this is softer, and I'm going to have to come back and sharpen it, I'm going to go ahead and soften I'm going to kind of defocus that sky just a touch so that when I um, sharpen everything else, the sky doesn't get too crazy. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and attack that, that sharpening now. Maybe we'll go into, um, let's start here in details. I'm going to get in the lead see a little closer. And I'm going to try and just Basically, just bump each of these up, bring that to about 30, and then start looking at these. Start going, well, when I do the large detail, 
what are we getting? You know, we get the large detail this way. I think through here it's going to be more of these medium and small details. I'm going to bump those up a bit. Start bringing back a little bit of texture. Now we got to watch out because you see we're starting to get noise really bad around this way. If you can see that. Um, which I don't want. So um, it doesn't look as bad when we zoom back out, but I'm going to pull back a little bit, bring that down to 30, that down to 30-ish. And I might just go ahead and, as I see, it's, it's doing too much here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and bump this back up to where I think that rock looks good. We're getting closer on that. It is going to make it a little noisy. But then I'm going to go ahead and mask here. And just add the mask. And start painting this in. Stay away from that edge. A little bigger brush. This should allow me to bring some of this detail back without messing up those trees and things. Okay, let's watch. Definitely bringing, bringing some more back. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a little bit of denoise while we're right here because I feel like it's uh, picking up some noise down in here. So let's bump that up a tiny bit. I don't want to do too much because it's kind of going to do away with some of that sharpening we just did. So I'm going to only do a little bit of this denoise. You see down through there, it's taming that a little bit. So uh, I think that works better. Okay, so let's get in here now to uh, enhance. Get back where we can see everything. Start bringing some of this in. Now you'll notice if you go too far, the trees start going crazy neon. So you gotta watch out for them. I'm trying to focus up here because I may end up actually cropping some of this out here in a minute to try and bring more uh, up to that peak, but uh, I like what this is doing. It's giving us some much good, much, much gooder, much better texture up through there. Let's see what we do. A little bit of a sky enhance. Okay, so there's the before. I think that's nice. It seemed like it did a lot more in the trees, but that's okay. All right, so let's come down here. We can go into the landscape. Dehaze might help us a little bit here. Let's see what that's going to do. Okay, just kind of, I'm basically I'm trying to make my decisions based on this, and um, if I have to, I'll mask out other areas. We're definitely starting to get some much nicer texture up through there. A little golden hour to warm things up a little bit. I don't want to enhance the foliage because it's just bringing even more of that green out, so I'm not messing with that. Well, I feel like this is really starting to jump now, so I'm much happier with that. I don't know that I need a vignette quite yet. Um, let's bring in the dramatic, which of course is going to, when you pump that up, it starts sucking away some of your saturation, which in this case kind of works because we had a little too much saturation down here. It's not doing much to the mountain. Um, okay. Now the only thing that's bugging me a little bit here is I'm feeling like this is starting to get a little hot. I'm gonna come back up here into develop and see how much we can tame these highlights out of curiosity. Let's just try messing around here. Okay, so if I just bring it down a tiny bit, I 
I'm getting that just a little bit more under control. I think that's good. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Then, um, okay, we already did dramatic. Let's come in here and start playing with the super contrast. All right, so again, what I'll typically do is just put, I like to load each of these up with about 20, and then watching the highlights, which again is gonna be that mountain portion. See what these are doing, see that does not work. Coming this way, I think that, that works nicely. Again, right through here, let's try the midtones, pushing them. What the other way would look like. I'm gonna leave it a tiny bit down. I think that works. Uh, we got our shadows down here, which we, let's see. I'm just going to darken it up. Might be able to bring out a little bit of those shadows down there. Let's see what the before and after looks like here. Okay, I feel like we've got a little more clarity up in that portion. So I think that's good. Now you could mess around on this one with like a mood and throwing like an odd color change at it. I don't know that that's gonna work, but sometimes it's worth just throwing a, a few of them at it just to see if it throws it into a ballpark that you like. Hmm. I do kind of like that. Hard to tell exactly what it's doing, but I feel like it's reining in these trees just a little bit. Kind of unifying the whole thing a little better. I, I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and leave that. Okay, so I feel like we're getting pretty close. Let's look at the before and the after. I think that works really nicely. I think probably the next thing I want to try and do here is go ahead and crop it. It's always interesting to see what you can do here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a free ratio. I just wonder what it would look like without those extra trees at the bottom. You know, one thing, as it stands right now, you've kind of got this horizon line just going right through the center, which is just a little more static. And I think by moving that moving this up a little bit we can kind of one we're kind of getting rid of some area down here that to me doesn't bring a lot of interest and we can try and move the horizon line a little bit off center let's try and move it slide this back up I'm gonna try coming a little bit more a little more dramatic Mm -hmm. I think that might work. Uh, I'll bring a tiny bit more back here. Let's do that. I'll let it work. Okay. I like that. I think that, that works pretty well. Um, might go in now and do a little bit of vignetting to it. Let's choose our subject right here. Oops, there. And let's bring it in like that. Again, you kind of want it to the point where you can't see it, and I can't really see it up here right now. I think that works well. Let's go ahead and export that out, and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so here we are back in Photoshop so we can compare these images side by side. And here is the original image we started with. Now we're going to take a look at what he did. All right. There is that version. And so I guess we kind of look at this. Um, 
I feel like this is burned out a little bit. Um, just has like a really hot, saturated feel to it, and and I think the, the cool sky um, isn't matching that too well. So um, I think we definitely probably improved on that in ours, but let's go ahead and put them up side by side. All right, so here they are side by side. Here, here was the one he sent me. We'll put the uh, original down here just for reference. Um, I think both of them are better than the original. I think the original, uh, we've just lost too much through here uh, that it, we've lost a little bit of detail. Now, he's done a, a better job of bringing out a lot of this rock texture through here, but at the cost of, I, I feel like, blowing this side out a little bit. And... Um, and I'm not crazy about that sky in this scenario. I feel like this one is a little more believable and uh, a little more subtle. I like the look of this. I did notice when we were playing around with that uh, develop thing that it ended up with a little bit of some posterization up in here, which we would need to go back and fix. But uh, didn't notice that until we had already exported it. But um, easy enough, we could just dial that back a little bit or mask it out. So there you have, here's the one that he sent in uh, that was done before, and then here's the one that I did uh, just now. So it depends on kind of the look that you're going for, I guess, but uh, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Did we rescue this one, or was it better off before it got here? So uh, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so the moment of truth. Which one do you like better? I'm pretty happy with how mine turned out, but Ron had a nice image as well. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know which one you think turned out better and why, or any suggestions on how we could have taken them a different direction. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please take a second to do so. We've got lots of great videos coming out, and I would love for you to be a part of it. And don't forget, if you've got an image you'd like me to work on in a future video, send it to vacationphotorescue at gmail.com, and I will try to add it to the list. But that's all we've got for this week. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.